Hello, welcome to this episode of Frack the Canon. Uh, we'll be talking about what is in the works, theory wise, a live action Spider Verse uh, episode. So, CJ, we have the comics. I see you with the comics. Do you want to say something so that we can see it? Oh, oh, hey, what's up, guys? Good to see you there. <laughs> <laughs> it's corny as that is. No, uh, that's my freaking, uh, freaking uh, hard copy of Spider Verse. Here is the collection of the OG comic. Um, so what we're, we're talking about? What that there might be one here? There, there might be one. Yeah, there might be a live action Spider Verse. And what is what would you define as the Spider Verse? Because I assume like this is like a crossover. So I've seen different versions of this. Like there could be a live action version of the movie, or like where all, all the past people who have played Spider Man are in the same movie. Um, what exactly are we? So that's what I read was that it was Andrew Garfield, Tobey Maguire, and Tom Holland as the main, uh, the main three ones. But I'm like, I want to see more. I want to see the Japanese Spider-Man, like the Spider-Demon from hell, um, and the 70s Spider-Man from the team. Did you ever see the, any of you ever see the 70s TV show Spider-Man? Just snippets of it. Yeah, me too. But it was, it was very, very, I'm like, that's not swinging at all. Like, what is this? What is this? Um, it was not good. It did not, not think, not knocking enough, but it just probably give his time. I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> um, I must say about that, Spider Man is it's good for kids. I, I it, like if you have younger kids and you want to like have them have some Spider Man, it's a little more appropriate than like the the movies that they have right now. <laughs> um, uh, that's true. That's very very true. Uh, even though I thought the Disney one was. Well, Into the Spider-Verse is good for kids, too. But, like, um, when my sister's kids were younger, we tried watching, like, the Spider-Man movies with them, and it was it was too much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that's something I, I, I was like to you about this, too, because you and I talk all the time, um, is that how many more Spider-Verse are we going to get? No, I know. Um, and that's the thing, like, that's what it, why, where it kind of depends on, like, hearing more you know what I mean, about what their plan is. Like, right now, we don't really know what their plan is. It's, like, speculation. And um, like you said, like, that's how that's exactly how I feel. Right now, I have read a Spider-Verse comic. I have played a Spider-Verse video game. I have seen a Spider-Verse little arc on a cartoon. I have watched a Spider-Man, Spider-Verse animated movie. You know what I mean? Like, I am... At this point, I got a little Spider Verse fatigue. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I like how how many more Spider Verses can I get? Um, and so, in that respect, if they're just if they're just gonna do a live action version of that, it's like you know I, I don't have mu- all that much interest in it. Yeah, I actually really love the Spider Verse story. That's why I own it like that. Um, but there's no way that doing a live action version of Spider-Verse, like they could do it. Sony has all the assets that they need to, that like actually do a proper comic accurate version of it. Right. Um, but there's no way that it's going to be as epic as the comic was because there's no history there. You know what I mean? Like Spider, the first Spider-Man, I mean, yeah, there's the seventies, you know, uh, show and there's a bunch of cartoons and stuff. Um, I feel like it, it would do them a better service to like, to maybe pad out the animated uh, Spider-Verse universe, you know what I mean? Like the into what they've already set up with Into the Spider-Verse um, would, has better potential to be as epic as that. Um, Cause it's like, the, the epicness of it is like kind of the same thing that um, they were pulling on in Crisis on Infinite Earths, the, the, CW, the actual right. Arrow Force one, right? Um, the fact that here are all these things, we're playing on your nostalgia, here are all these things um, that you remember. Remember the old Flash card? Remember the old Flash show? Like, we bring this this piece back. Hey, remember Batman 89, that character? We're bringing this piece back. Remember, hey, Bert, Bert Ward, you haven't seen him in a while. You know what I mean? Oh, here's <laughs> here's this from, you know what I mean, from Birds of Prey. Here's this. Like, it's that kind of nostalgia. That's what Spider-Verse is. It's that kind of nostalgia, and it plays on that kind of thing. Um, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, here's, here's Spider-Man from Marvel versus Capcom. Here's Spider-Man from the old cartoon. Um, they're with respect to it being a live action thing, um, they're just going back, you know, there just isn't that much like geek material. You know what I mean? There's, there's Tobey Maguire and then there's Andrew Garfield and then there's 
uh, you know, this current guy. Why, why am I forgetting his name? Tom Holland. <laughs> Tom Holland. The yeah. one true Spider-Man. No, he's not. Right. You know, I mean, just, <laughs> but you know, there's there's not a not a, a lot of material to fall, fall back on. I mean, frankly, oh. like most of that stuff, I feel like is more from the animated series, and and right. that would be something that I would be more excited, you know, for. I, I have a suggestion. I have something just came to mind when you were talking. I'm like, okay, cool. What if actually, as you were talking, I'm like, what if they go and they bet on the broomstick it or Roger Rabbit or the Lion Spade where they bring in the live action with animated characters. Would anyone be interested in watching that, seeing that? I kind of want to see that now, a little bit. For Sarah? me, though, it's it's the problem with doing this, with like bringing back the like the people that played Spider Man. It's like it's like something I want to see as a fan. Like uh-huh. I think it'd be fun to be like, oh my gosh, like they're all together, like this is fun. <laughs> and then like five minutes later, I'm like, okay. Um, this has no plot, no story. It's like something I want to happen, but in I don't know how they can execute it and have it be satisfying. Like, um, it's like a nerd dream. Like, but like in reality, it's not something that is actually going to be good. So that's where I kind of like I'm I'm hesitant to be like I really want this because it's yeah I said I don't know how they could do it and make it make it good though I do like the Roger Rabbit idea <laughs> the, the um the actor who plays Miles Morales said that he cannot be in like play Miles Morales in a live action because he's like 25 I think he's old I think he's our age yeah but oh, he's yeah, like but he's... He, it'd be weird for him to show up and be like huh I'm Miles Morales it's like some, <laughs> no you're not <laughs> like adults yeah um <laughs> And there's also, they are making Into the Spider-Verse too, like a sequel to the movie. Right. Um, so it's kind of like, how much do we really need before, you know, we kind of get tired of it? Like, like going through a phase, you know. But it, it, so going back to what CJ said, um, Spider-Verse fatigue, I myself, we were talking about this too. I'm like, dude, the first Spider-Verse that I ever saw was the 90s Spider-Verse, the animated one, because he met the, the actor who played him. He met a with different dimensions, different times. I'm like, wait. Um, that's why I'm like, all right. A live action Spider Verse. Yeah, and as you said, Sarah, it was like, yeah, that's cool. But then I'm like, all right, story. What's the story? Why are they coming in together? Unless they bring in uh, the CD and I usually when we nerd out, which is kind of when we plan our ideas or whatever. Like, all right, what if? Why is this happening? What do we? Let's do it right now. Why does? Why do they need all the live action Spider Men? If this if if this would happen, Sarah, what, what would you? You're the you're the writer, producer, director. What would you do? Well, you need an epic bad guy, like someone who can really like that unites them and crosses dimensions. So I don't really know who that would be, um, unless like suddenly all the vultures of the different dimensions got together and plotted or something. Like I I just don't know who has that kind of reach in in Spider Man's universe. Like they need a Thanos. Um, like someone though? that's bigger. Well, I mean, not as big as Thanos, but like someone on, like you know, that's larger than life. I feel like, like you, a, to look, have so many people take on one villain, you, 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 he needs to be a really strong villain. I see your thoughts. Uh, Renee, you give your thoughts, and then catch <laughs> <me>. <laughs> good for you thinking. <laughs> No, um, no, it's just I know that I'm gonna blab, so <laughs> Okay. Okay. So I've been thinking go to source material. Why don't you just use the source material? In the comics there is a breach within the different within the dimensions. And whatever villain finds it, it's been going back and forth. And he's been going around and, and both Spider Man are tracking these villains. They're their counterparts to that villain. And that's what they mean. That's what they did in Spider Man. Um, when Miles Morales met Peter Parker. Have any of you read that? Uh, yeah, I've read Spider-Man. Have you read, that? have you read that, Sarah? No. Another comic book to get, let you want to work free. Batman Hush and Spider-Man. Um, and so it was, that's what brought them into the meeting. So I would think something like that, something that was interdimensional, something that was crossing. And in the comics, it was Ultimate Electro who was crossing to 616 and are you the, the the ultimate universe i'm like all right something akin to that something about where it would need to bring them all together but it would be i think it would probably be if i were to do it 
I think I would make it be Green Goblin, just because I love that character. Even though I have no idea how I'm going to do, how, how do it, I just kind of love Defoe's Green Goblin. I was like, bring back Defoe. Um, that's how I would probably have some scientist-like villain, which probably would be Defoe, Green Goblin Defoe, fighting some sort of interdimensional time loop break. This is very comic booky, very Star Trek-y. That's what I would start off with right now, and just a, what I would do. All right, so CJ. <laughs> All right, I'll uh, <laughs> I'll say a couple of things. First off, I think um, like Into the Spider Verse um, did sort of a proper thing in that they kind of had like this hodgepodge of villains because that's one thing that like a lot of these, a lot of these like iterations I've seen of Spider Verse, like they have all the different Spider Man. They got that right, but you don't see all the different versions of their iconic villains. And that's another thing I want to see, you know what I mean? Cause Spider-Man has like really cool villains, you know what I mean? And like, and that was one of the coolest things about, uh, well, I say I played the video game version of this, uh, Shattered Dimensions actually predates Spider-Verse. Um, but I count it because it was also written by the same guy who wrote Spider-Verse. <laughs> so what he, the like, up, really? Yep. He wrote the video game, Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions, which basically he stole the idea that he wrote and, Put it in the Spider Verse a couple years later. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like he <laughs> made the same thing. But um, I would, if if I were doing it, I would want to do something like that, something that pays homage to that. Like, let's see these other versions of these villains because these villains are in their own way um, as iconic as Spider Man. Um, mm -hmm. And that's something that I feel like the original Spider Verse comic book even lacks too. Um, saying, you know, you do get to see other villains here and there, but I do feel like the original Spider-Verse kind of lacks that that pizzazz, too. Like, hey, here's all these other colorful versions of Spider-Man's villains, too. You know what I mean? Like, um, but to that point, seeing all these different versions of Spider-Verse, the one I haven't seen, they have not done, is just the Spider-Verse story. They have not, no one has done all these five <laughs> different versions of spider verses that we've seen mm -hmm. not one of them has actually used the spider verse comic as a base for their story um True. and in that story it's like um there's a villain uh that uh, it's a it's a lesser spider-man villain known as morlon or morlon i don't really know how to pronounce it okay. um but he's basically like sort of like a life force kind of a vampire sort of a thing but it's like he he's destined his kind is destined to seek out like the spiders of different universes. Mm. It's like him and his family, they're basically going across different multiverses, killing and absorbing all of the spider men you know what I mean? Like of the, and so it's like, and so uh, sp some spider men get wind of it and like start to build like a resistance, a spider resistance, like across <laughs> multiverses to battle you know to assemble the spider army to battle like this this creature this uh these more loon or whatever these this, mm -hmm. this sort of vampiric force or whatever and they get str they only get stronger the more spider man that they've killed you know um, which is an interesting story it's a different story it's like sort of a here's a bunch of spider man and like a big battle potential story you know what i mean like uh but it's interesting that they haven't gone uh, it's darker too you know than uh, i guess other stories so that that's probably why um, but yeah, but I would if it, if it were me, I would just go that route. I'd be like, hey, they haven't done that. I'll just I just do the source material. Why not? That would be you know that's, that would be kind of cool because we haven't seen that. Like it was yeah, that would be a lot. That would be more. I you know what? Frack it. Let's go with that. I don't know. That's it. Let's go with TJ's. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> but what if one of the Spider Man was evil? Like, what if the threat was internal? Like he's bringing them all together so he can be the only Spider Man. And it's his secret plan to kill all of them. So he's the only one. Like well, first too. of all, first of all, that is the plot to the movie The One starring Jet Li. Um, <laughs> and, and secondly, I don't hate that idea because I love I that movie as well. <laughs> <laughs> I have never seen The One. I think it's like, oh, well, that's pretty cool. I didn't know TJ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny. Uh, I don't like it. I like the idea too. Frank, my idea is let's like do one of yours instead. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. I just want I just wanted to do a little get together, just a little snapshot of why. Go ahead. Uh, well, I do. You know, I do have uh, something else to say on on the on the subject though. Um, so I, I well, what I was saying before, I wouldn't really be interested in seeing just a live action version of that. What I might be interested though 
is Spider-Verse has the potential to be pretty epic. It has the potential to kind of like stretch out and they can flesh it out a bit. If instead of just doing a live action version of Spider-Verse, if they just kind of like started like putting like little pieces of a universe like together Mm -hmm. and kind of slowly revealed like, hey, this is all part of the same multiverse. You know what I mean? So instead of like replacing their animated Spider-Verse with this Spider-Verse, maybe it's just all interconnected. It's all just part of the Spider-Verse. You know what I mean? Like, that and if they did something like that and they kind of united those together in a way, like, I could be down for that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if you remember, like, at the end of Venom, I mean, it was just something to, pu- it was just something to plug into the Spider-Verse. But it says, meanwhile, in another universe. And it's like, and you get the preview to enter the Spider-Verse. You know what I mean? Like, so it's like yeah they could like do something like that where they just kind of put out these movies and shows and they're like later on like five years later they're like hey by the way we're just gonna kind of pull these all together and like now they're in the same crossover story right now like you know i mean that that could be pretty cool so like now that you say that what if it was a madam web like like a like she's interdimensional connective tissue to do all the different like a like a a version of cinematic version of madam web where was he, Madam Web, in, in, in the movie? Nah, not in the movie. Not even, not even in Spider-Verse? No. That, that's my two cents. Madam Web into this in the cinematic. That's yeah, a lot, guys. That'd be cool. I mean, you know, she's just random Oracle-type character. You mm-hmm. know? Fun fact. She was with Stanley's wife in the nice cartoon. I might have that out. <laughs> all right we got nine minutes anything you guys want to talk about before we about the versus spiders all right well let's shift gears hey uh freaking you heard that the russos are gonna be on what hercules ah uh, yes i did what the frick wait they're redoing hercules yeah the, yeah. Disney, the, the, the disney. disney oh the remake okay so as cj knows i don't know if you know sir, i'm a big fan of Greek mythology i read those kids when i was i read those books I probably have been not been speaking well when we do these for some reason. I'm a big fan of the Greek mythologies. I read the book when I was a little kid, like 10, 11, 12. Uh, and I'm like, oh my God, because I, I really love that movie. But they got some stuff wrong. I was telling CJ, all right, as much as I love that movie, I don't know if I want to see it remade to live action. And if they only do, do remake it, I want them to explore the other mythologies, the other stories, the other journeys that he did, and not just rethread the, the, the cartoon. That's what I would like to see. I hope they keep the songs. Like, I know, like, like I haven't seen Mulan yet, obviously, because no one can see it. But, like, like I feel like they took – I haven't seen it, but they took parts that I really liked out of it. That, like, there's no singing, I, I don't think. And, I don't like, think they have. Her uh, dragon, what, Mushu, uh, is supposedly gone. Yes. So I hope they don't do that to Hercules. Like, I hope they keep the songs and, like, the – the fun parts of it, because um, I don't know if it, it would be the same movie. See, because I was so see the house. I said she this about this. I'm like, I don't know if they want to do the version I want to do because in the original stories, like Hercules is a demigod. His, his mom is immortal because he knows Zeus like to come down to Earth and just mess around with with, with the humans, like to frack with the ladies, and produce multiple <laughs> offsprings. Um, and in the comic, and in the comic book, and in the cartoon version, he's not that. He is a son of Hera and. And Zeus, and Hera, and the or, and their happy family, and all that stuff. I'm like, no, dude. Like in the original stories, Hera found out Zeus was messing around. She sends the snakes to kill her Hercules, and then she gets then she makes him go mad and kills his wife. I'm like, they're not gonna do that in the Disney story at all. But yeah, I they like can't to, do that for Disney. <laughs> exactly. So I'm like, I'm not gonna get that. So I'm like, all right, cool. As much as I would love that, I'm never gonna get that. But I want to see them do at least his other journeys, not just the story of 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 of, of, of that. We I don't want to. You know, one thing I don't like about the Disney live action movies, it's almost a shot for shot remake of the animated. Did you see Aladdin? Any of you? No. I did because I'm like, all right, go ahead, CJ. No, no, no. Continue. No. I saw it. And I'm like, I felt weird. I felt conflicted because it's it's like I love that movie. I love those songs. But I saw it already, an animated form. So like, I, I'm like, I don't know how to react to this. Um, I mean, well, here's, and here's my rebuttal to that um, always, um, is <laughs> yeah, that like, 
is that like like on the some level like i feel you on that definitely like yes i've seen this before like what is the point of you remaking this um but on the other level it's like I'm I'm the opposite way because like Lion King and, and Aladdin are like two of my favorite Disney movies. Mm-hmm. So on this, there's this level on which I like those movies. So no matter which way you present it to me, I'm going to like it on some level. Like on some level, I'm going to be annoyed that I'm just watching a rehashment of this thing. But on the other level, it's like, I would like this story. You know what I mean? Like, so I'm going to like it. That's that's what my conflict comes in. That's know. what my conflict is because I'm, I like the story, I like the songs, but I'm I, and that's again like I was saying that's my conflict. That's my, I'm annoyed I'm watching this live action. Sarah, your thoughts? We have. What do you think? Your thing? Well, I I just think I'm torn because I well again they aren't making the remix for us. Like I have my right, fond true. memories of the of the originals. They they were something I watched in my childhood, and and that's that's for me. But. Um, if I'm a kid growing up now, that's an old movie. Like it's, it, it's the audience is new kids that want to, that are seeing it now that are more used to maybe like a CGI instead of our old animation style that we got, we're used to. And I, I'm on board with having like a new audience, a new, like, like younger audience, like the stories that we liked mm-hmm. um, just because it's something new to them even though it's like something that we're like, oh yeah, we like the older version better. Very much so, yeah. <laughs> That's true. This is true. But going back to the original question, I am conflicted on Russo's film doing <laughs> Hercules. <laughs> Only if they bring the community cast in with them. That's all I want to see, the community cast doing <laughs> Hercules. I want y- y- Yvette Nicole Smith as Hera. Who do I want? Chemi Chase as Zeus. <laughs> That was not gonna go well. Who will we? Who would you got? Who would you cast? All right, if we are I'll just back as the community, if you were to cast someone from Community to be Hercules, who would it be? I mean, I don't really watch Community. <laughs> well, I have a recommendation for you on Netflix, good sir. I highly recommend it. Um, what about you, sir? Who would you recommend? Who would you cast? Did you watch Community? I did watch Community. Um, I don't know. <laughs> That's a hard question. <laughs> I think mean, I would go there with Jeff. Oh, what's his name? Joe McHale. Or Donald Glover. Donald Glover, I think, is a would be a more fun choice. <laughs> That's true, because he, he was Simba in the in the live action mm-hmm. Lion King. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. We got a couple of minutes. We got three minutes. Anything else before we back off this uh, morning? Binge recommendations. Binge recommendations. All right, what do you got, CJ? You start. Me start. Um, let's see. Crap, I had something, but I forgot what it was. All right, fine. I'll go. I've been watching The Last Dance, the history of uh, the Chicago Bulls last season, um, and it is from. It, it goes back and forth between how Jordan started in the NBA, well, actually, you know, his college career, to his final years in the NBA. In the NBA, and I like it because it's so raw. It's so. It's not. The things they show about Jordan himself is not very flattering, but he was like, it's there. Um, yeah, so I, I work on my last time. It, it's, I'm not the biggest, best, I'm not a big sports guy, but it's an interesting story. That's my recommendation. All right, I remember now. Um, okay, so I was binge watching this anime. Um, it is called Food Wars. It's not <laughs> like super <laughs> new or anything, but um, I don't know. It's It's ridiculous. It's basically like, if they made an anime version of like what master chef is um mm. like because it's like i don't know like it's like it's like a guy but it's a high school like it's like a master chef like high school kind of it's like <laughs> this prodigious high school and like it's where it's like really cutthroat and like if you get like into a dispute then like you can like food battle if you get into a food war with somebody and that's like how you sort of uh that's how you like solve your disputes you know you got judges and they like judge your food and like like, it's it's like watching like master chef like it really is like but just like animated and like freaking and like (laughs) and like he goes to school with all these like stuck up you know 20 20 kids and stuff and like there's you know the cast of characters is amazing there's villains you know what i mean and like you know people are they're just out to be the best cook you know what i mean in the school (laughs) top cook in the school or whatever but it's it's a good time. It's a crazy good time. 
All right, Sarah, what do you got? Who do um, I've been watching Good Omens on Amazon, uh, and I've been really liking it. I read the book like forever ago, and so my knowledge of the book is really faded. So I'm not really comparing it to the book, which I think might be a good thing. But it's been uh, very fun. It's 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 been hilarious. Um, I was and I like. Sitting, oh, sorry. What you what? I was hustling for a friend, and uh, and she, she had that was on Prime, and I was watching. I'm like, this is really not bad. I like this. I like it. Mm-hmm. I liked it. Like the only thing I li- I liked it. CJ, did you, so I know CJ. I didn't to finish. Know. I didn't finish it. I, I I started it a while ago, but I I stopped. Fell off. I finished it. I thought it was pretty good. See, is it only a one? Yeah, it's a one shot, right? Because it's it's the book, right? That's I it? I haven't seen the final episode yet, so I've seen everything except for the final episode. Um, oh. And I don't know if they're gonna keep going. It seems like the story's gonna end in the next episode that I'm about to watch, but um, I think it doesn't. I, yeah. I'm pretty sure it. But I liked it. Oh. Sorry, guys. But, um, <laughs> Duty calls. Huh? Duty calls, like for realsies. Um, twosies. <laughs> all right. That's all I got. Uh, well, thank you, Sarah. Thank you, CJ, for joining us. Uh, we'll see you next freaking time. Same freaking channel. Freck off. <laughs>